Welcome to Investors Insights. We've got a lot going on this week as always. Uh, I think this week our attention will turn to the Fed. Yes. Uh, on Friday, we've got a big jobs number. And unless the jobs number is bad, I think the Fed's going to have the ammo it needs to raise next week at their meeting. So our attention is on the Fed. Uh, Trey, talk further yeah. about that. Yeah, so last week was interesting. There was really no big economic data, but what was fascinating was the likelihood of a Fed rate hike went from 30% to 90%. And really the only reason for that was several Fed governors, including Janet Yellen on Friday, spoke. And they just lofted out you know, like balloons trying to test the waters really to see you know, how the market react. And then they kind of, everyone took that to, to say that we will see a rate hike in March, mm -hmm. which if you do it in March, that leaves room for two more this year, which would be on a three pace, which is what they said they would like to do at the beginning of the year. But I don't think anybody in the market expected that. Good news is, is that seem to be rocking, you know, rocking the markets. It went from a third to 90%, but you know, we didn't really see a trade back. Yeah. So that's, that's good. Maybe we'll, we'll take this in stride. And we need some inflation in the system. It's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, and inflation's where they want it to be. We're exactly, so. around 2%. They said they wanted to see clarity on fiscal policy. I don't think we really have that yet, but they did say they wanted to look at inflation, and inflation's about where they want it. And then I think that's why the jobs this week will be very big. Yeah, right. so we're watching the Fed. And, and on Saturday, we had a, a big birthday. Ashley, we talk did. about that. Uh, the S&P 500 index was 60 years old Saturday. And what's interesting about that is that the S&P 500 has 2.4 trillion, trillion with a T, indexed to it. And the reason it has become such a large and popular gauge is that it is measured by market capitalization as opposed to the Dow, which is more on price, or other indices, which is a combination. So that design 60 years ago for that index has uh, ended up being highly successful and the most watched by far. It is. It's, it's a great index for investors to, to follow the market. So uh, uh, thank you for following us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And we love the dialogue. So please continue with your calls and questions. Have a great week.